In 1921, approximately 4,500 tons of a mixture of ammonium sulfate and ammonium nitrate fertilizer stored in a tower silo exploded at a BASF plant in Opau, which is now part of Ludwigshaven, Germany. Ammonium sulfate nitrate is a mixture of the two salts, ammonium nitrate, which is explosive and used in fertilizers, and ammonium sulfate, which is inert and also used in fertilizers. Ammonium nitrate is a solid, white, odorless salt. Ammonium sulfate is a solid, brownish-gray or white, odorless crystal. In the tower silo, the workers used small explosive charges to loosen the salt, which had solidified during storage. This is a common practice, and about 20,000 blasting operations were carried out with no issues. After the accident, it was found that several physical parameters, such as particle size, density, water content, homogeneity of crystal structure also had an influence, and the introduction of new drying process changed these parameters. There is not one person responsible, however, the manufacturing process had been changed in such a way as to lower the humidity level of the mixture from 3 to 4 percent to 2 percent, and also to lower the apparent density. Both these factors made the substance more likely to explode. Holes were drilled in a zone containing a 55-60% to 60 mixture of ammonium nitrate, and during firing, this mixture enriched in ammonium nitrate could explode, causing the connected 50-50 mixture to detonate. Only 10% of the stock was involved in the explosion. All the contents of CELA 110 did not detonate. The official human casualty reported 561 deaths, 1,952 injured, and 7,500 people left homeless. Among the victims include passengers from three worker trains arriving on site for change of shift. Several children on their way to school were injured. Boats on the Rhine River sustained damage with numerous sailors also injured. Eye injury was observed in several cases. Around 80% of the buildings in Opau were destroyed. Substantial damage was also reported in Ludwigshaven and Mannheim. Massive glass debris on the roads of Heidelberg, which is 30 kilometers from Opau, and it interrupted traffic in the city. This could have been prevented if parameters such as the composition of the mixture, as well as physical parameters such as density and humidity, had been studied further to know that they affect the explosiveness of the ammonium sulfonitrate mixture. Today, there are more safety measures since we are aware of how changes can affect the explosiveness of these chemicals, and hopefully there will not be any explosions like this in the future.